If CNMG doesn't stand for independence, then it stands for absolutely nothing. Freedom of the press and other media are essential components of our nation's democracy. There exists, however, a move by an elite element of the government to frustrate this independence and dumb you down by feeding you with pro-government propaganda. By curtailing news that paints them in a bad light, any sort of negativity, anything which is opposite to the policies, to the vision, if any, of the government, they have been preventing the journalists from doing their duty, their due diligence in informing you, the people, of reality in Trinidad and Tobago. We must stand up against this. A free press, what we must understand is that a free press is amongst the most essential means by which all the people of Trinidad and Tobago, especially the vulnerable, the exploited and the poor, can hold their government and the powerful private business interests to account. In spite of the Prime Minister's constant and profuse rhetoric with regards to her regime's commitment to free press in Trinidad and Tobago, the reality suggests otherwise. Journalists have reached out to us to signal their outrage and discontent with what they deem as political bullying. We've been forwarded a 10-page document which will be uploaded to PNM Abroad for your uh, own uh, ability to observe the contents of the document. And I take an excerpt out of it, where the journalists state that we think it is vital that we submit what we perceive to be instances of clear political interference. We have compiled this list after carefully observing the practices of intervention in the gathering of news, the reshaping of packages, and the censorship and curtailing of news items. We note for your information, as a recently installed head of news, these practices which have been unknown to us in the newsroom. So all this in spite of the Prime Minister and her government's statement that they are committed to a free press in Trinidad. What journalists are experiencing at CNMG is without question political interference by the back door. The, the, the once revered guardian of democracy has failed to stand up and condemn this attack on our democracy. The Prime Minister specifically by allowing this to occur on her watch, without intervention, is undermining our nation's democratic values. Her government is covering up a furious disagreement about that which remains worryingly unresolved. And having been given this official 10-page document, presented by journalists to CNMG's uh, CEO and its executive on the station, we really get an understanding of the share of indictiveness involved by this dictatorial regime. It's quite a sad state of affairs when our democracy can be attacked by those entrusted and elected to assure our freedoms and our rights as enshrined in the Constitution are protected. How can we settle at night with the knowledge that there are elite arms pushing forward an unjust and unholy agenda that works against all the people of our great nation. For too long, we have sat and accepted this crap from this administration. Now is the time for us to stand up and speak out. Unfortunately, the crackdown on CNMG is being encouraged by the Prime Minister and her aides, highly influential and predatory players from the UNC, such as Brian Stone, Ken Ali, Jai Prasra have taken over control of the station and instead of improving the quality and responsibility of the media house, they have used it to hide corruption, frustrating the accountability to the people and covering up service delivery failures. 
there are problems that now permeate at every level of government business, not only at the national level, but the local level. And the government, instead of worrying about the delivery of services to the people, they are undermining the integrity of the free press in the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. The journalists are under attack and we must now recognize this. And as I upload the 10 page document for you to go through, all of the instances that this government has totally undermined the freedom of the press, you will begin to understand what is really happening in the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. It is a very sad state of affairs, but it needs to be recognized by the population. And we need to address this issue because our democracy and the freedom of the press as we know it is under attack. And we've seen it with Fazir Mohammed and, and, uh, you know, and several other situations. And we cannot allow this to continue. We must fight this. And the only way we can fight it is if the people are informed of what is happening.